So that could be a problem right there. I've just figured out. You see where I've placed that GPS for the base dock? It's where my player is. I don't want that. I want the GPS to be where the remote block is like normal. So watch this. I'll jump out, place another one. And the remote block will actually take it up when I use its antenna through my remote connection. So watch this. So I'll jump down here. Nice and easy. Let's get rid of all them. Go to the GPS and delete the old one. Let's copy. Delete that one. Let's go remote access, respawn planet pod. Remote control. Let's go control. So now we can do whatever we want on the actual ship itself. Nice and easy. So what we want to do is place a GPS now. GPS control V. Home base dock. So now when I press F and exit out of that and come up here turn all of these on see it's not where my player is it's where the remote block is that may be screwing up a few of the things on the stream so this is just during the off camera pipe testing and let's see if this one works now it's pretty much exactly the same as what i had as before i've added the remote control autopilot on off just so i can keep testing it just on control bar two there and I've added on the timer block in here nice and quickly. I've just added that switch lock on the connector pod on the rear of this thing. So at the same time, it turns all those thrusters off, turns the batteries on recharge or on auto, depending. And it has that connector to either make sure it will either lock if it isn't already or disconnect if it isn't already as well. So it should work out nice and good right there. So the reason why I've got the uh, connector on and off is so you can actually turn it off and not get pulled so close to it like we were just then. So let's turn that back on. Let's go into our remote block and add that new GPS circle. It's already still in the backward orientation since it was from on this. I'm just keeping it there as it hasn't really made much difference as I've got two thrusters on the front and two thrusters on the back. So it's still the exact same, except I don't have a gigantic drill hanging off the front of it. So I find that to be a little bit better. So let's remove that one and let's get that one in and get on that GPS we just created. We want it to turn the autopilot off because it's on the circle mode so it doesn't forget all these GPSs. And so I don't have to keep resetting it all the time. And we want it to get it to lock with that connector. So let's see if we can give that a go. Shift F5 and 4. So this is all completely out of my hands at the moment. It should fly up the top to the high base dock approach, which I've just moved away from the wind turbines behind us now. Just to make it a little easier. Here we go. We're coming up closer to it. We're getting there eventually, hopefully. Might be because we need to... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's doing it slowly it's probably because the remote blocks got precision mode on there we go so as soon as we turn this off it'll actually go a lot faster look at that much much faster there we go so now it should start coming down and backwards to the in front approach gps and then it should actually reverse back onto the connector we see there so let's just see how this all goes and if it works. And that spinny spinny is kind of a little bit much. So it should go to the one just here. There's the one in front. Oh, and it didn't reverse back onto it. But that was a lot closer than what I've been experiencing. So I could even get it to rotate. Oh, almost not. Similar to how my, my drone works. That connects it all up. So I just need to charge this up a little bit. The batteries aren't the best on it. So we press 7 now, it locks it all up, turns all the thrusters off, and it, ta it changes that battery off to recharge really nice and easy. I like how it does that. So we'll just charge this up. Uh, we'll go to that battery. We've got about 10 minutes left, so that's not too bad. We've got about half a charge at the moment. So I'll keep going with this and see how we are going to go on it. Hmm interesting i'm just wondering if maybe that front gps might be good to remove it and just stick with these on
Oh, set up actions. That's right. That's why I had that in front GPS. Hang on. In front. Add, add that one. Move it up. And add precision mode on because we wanted to actually listen to the direction I've set here. Precision mode on. And we can even make sure that it does go backwards and set backwards on that remote block too. That might be really nice, actually. That could work. Shift F5, number seven, which is all around. Good, let's just fly this over here. Control two, and we'll press four. There we go. Let's get that thing going. So once again, goes to the high GPS. Should come down to the one in front of it and actually change it to precision mode on as well as telling it to make sure it goes backwards. Hopefully this goes a lot better than what it did. Here we go. Test, 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 test. Let's go, come on. Oh yeah, that's what we want to see. Booyah. And it actually even connected up and all that sorts of stuff. The thrusters and all that can be added to that trigger when it gets to that dock to turn off, get the batteries and all that sorts of stuff. But that right there is an absolute perfect docking sequence let's see if we can get it going again shall we two for two maybe maybe ah why auto uh not too sure why it dropped out of the sky we lost a landing leg and i just need to fix that up i guess that can be done nice and easy we didn't lose too much from that i've got to try and figure out why that did that remote control so when it got there is there any other commands on this thing no it's just remote control off and that one oh that's right because i never changed them back over so all i had to do was just disconnect me triggering the seven actually told them all to turn off like I was docking instead of undocking like I was doing at that time. So that's all right. We can try that again. Let's go again. Jump on out so we don't have to follow it. It's a little hurt at the moment. The poor pod goes up to the high. We can set it to have uh, its collision avoidance on and then get it to turn that feature off when it gets to that GPS. So it actually has the ability to dock up nice and easy. So if we were to trigger it all the way on the other side of this mountain, AKA our base or something, it'd be really good to do. What are you doing? Are you still thinking about it? You should turn around there yeah, because you've got precision mode, you should Turn to what I've set you to before doing it and down a little bit yeah I'm actually really pleased with that for the fact that it only just makes it and it's going to be really much better for the fact that when it's really full it'll still have the ability to do this so that's actually really really good so what I'm going to do I'm going to set this up as if it's on a charging status like it's already docked so I didn't do that before. So let's get that to recharge. There we go. And then I'll just quickly go ahead and fix all this up. Not that we really needed these um, landing gears and stuff like that. But they are really good just in case of an emergency. And you need to stop right now kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I think the reason why I am gathering scrap is because I've got that MES mod. That when I grind down thrusters, it actually stops the return in the resources but that's fine like as long as the refineries and that can go ahead and still sort this out i'm more than happy to so i'll just test that theory right now it can cool that's no problem i'm happy i am very happy with that and that is not working so let's go ahead and turn that on and let's just get this to go much far much slower uh oh Two, and then we'll just crank that all the way up so it can just go really slow
No, needs to go a little bit faster. There we go. Now it should start going. It should stop flickering now. Oh, it's probably because the battery is um trying to charge. There we go. Yeah. It's all starting to sort itself out. Let's get some power. Oh, good. Sun goes down once more. I try and skip that back because I know the YouTube compression makes it really, really dark. So that's the times I do stuff off, ca off camera. So that's why it was really nice. I could get this done to show you when the sun was up. Now I can go ahead and just do my stuff off camera almost. I need to update this. All that's good stuff. It shouldn't be too bad. We didn't get time for the robots and that, unfortunately, in the last episode. Episode 4, I think it was. So this is episode 4.5 per se. Because I know people would really want to know how I'd done that. So I'll release this as like a, a half episode in between the extra kind of episode, if you will. The sound might be a little bit off because I've got all these Zakatas outside chirping their heads off and being really loud and I've got my windows and doors open because it gets extremely hot in my computer room and I don't have an air conditioning unit to actually cancel out some of the heat. Both of my PCs are generating. They're generating like 60 degrees on a full loop on both of them at least just pumping straight in recirculating through and always such a big thanks to all my um, supporters as little as like two three dollars a month you can actually get your name up here and get specific bonuses and benefits and all that good stuff are we at max we are cool so i can turn this off let's turn that off and the drill drill base off there we go cool that should be refining some good stuff excellent yep getting a bit more iron and all that Excellent. I like that. I like that a lot. So I might as well get another landing leg. Unfortunately, we actually kind of got rid of the last one on our thing. So landing. Oh, we got a kookaburra out, with, out the window. Excellent. And that should conclude, I guess, our mini extra episode. Thank you, as always, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. And stay sharp till next time as always. See ya.